Welcome to Moo Moo Math and Science. In this video, let's learn how to use a dichotomous key. And what we're going to do is we'll look at, uh, I have seven monsters, and we'll look at three of them and see if we can't come up with their name. Okay, so let's get started. The first rule to always keep in mind, no matter what organism you have or monster, you always start at 1A. So we're going to start with this guy. Looks like he has been at a birthday and he has some wings. So let's get started. 1A says, monster has legs. No. Then 1B, monster does not have legs. Okay. So that's a yes. So it says to go to 5. So at 5, I will always start at the A. Monster has one eye. No, this little fella has more than one eye. He has two. So I go to 5B. Monster has more than one eye. Yes, so it says go to 6. The rule is always start at the A. 6A, monster has six or more eyes. No. 6B, monster has two eyes. So it is wingers. Okay, so now let's move on to the next one. How about this guy here? He has a, a green body and some horns. So let's get started. Remember, you always start at 1A. Monster have legs. Yes, so go to 2. I always start at 2A. Does the monster have five eyes? No. So 2B says the monster does not have five eyes. Okay, that qualifies. So I'm going to go to 3. 3A says monster has horns. Yes, so the monster's name is Bullhorn. Okay, let's go one more. How about the other person he's red has a party hat on and only one eye the monster does the monster have legs no the monster does not have legs so i go to five i move down to five i start at five a five a monster has one eye okay so it is cyclops okay so you could do the same thing for the rest of the seven monsters so to recap, always, every single time, start at question 1A, and then it will tell you where to go to. And then once the next question, you always start at the A question. And if uh, that you can't answer yes to that, you move to the B question. Thanks for watching. And remember, kindness always multiplies kindness. Be kind to someone today.